Welcome to God 101. I'm your host, Julie Chen Moonvez. Our guest today is the one and only Tommy from season 21 of Big Brother, Tommy Bracco, related to Lorraine Bracco. Yes. <laughs> that's Tommy, my cousin. <laughs> that's your cousin. All right, Tommy, we have a lot to catch up on. Yes, but we first, do. But first, but first, God. I ask all the guests the same question. Did you grow up with God in your life? I did. I grew up with God in my life. Um, I was raised Catholic. And to this day, I'm still very religious and very spiritual. Um, and God means something uh, in terms of how I practice. It's a little different as an adult, at least right now in my life compared to when I was a child. But um, I talk to God often and um, I have a great relationship with God. I do. Um, God is very prominent in my life. How would you describe the difference from childhood Tommy Bracco growing up in Staten Island knowing the Lord to adult. Now you're in your early thirties. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. The 30s. I did. I did. I crossed the mark. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> Still a baby. So Thank how you. would you describe the um, change in your relationship with God? Well, I think to be um, completely open, I think coming out as gay uh, became difficult in terms of, what religion meant for me. Um, and it still is a struggle kind of, or a, a discussion, an internal discussion to this day. Um, I believe in God wholeheartedly, but sometimes the Catholic church, I don't feel as welcome there nowadays um, because of the, you know, the higher ups and whatever. And to be honest, I'm not super educated on it either. Um, but for me, I have had to take a step back from the structure of church, but yeah. it, that doesn't mean that my relationship with God had to change because I believe wholeheartedly. And funny enough, I came out of the closet when I was 18 years old and it took doing Big Brother to find my relationship with God again. Um, specifically that last week in the house, I turned to God when I, when I had kind of no allies left um, I turned to God and I have kept my relationship since the show. Um, and it, I feel very strong. I feel my connection is very strong with God. Like I said, I talk to God every day. I thank God every morning when I wake up. Um, I talk to God in my car when I'm driving throughout the day and I pray before bed at night. Um, I'm very grateful and I believe that, uh, that there are no coincidences, essentially, that everything is happening the way it's supposed to, and it's happening for me and not to me. So that that's kind of where I'm at. That is an amazing testimony that Big Brother and your experience in the house yep. returned you to the Lord and advanced, like deepened your yep. love for him and relationship with him. Yep, 100%. That last week, I will never forget. I, if when we talk about it, I still like, I could put myself how I felt being in the have not room and just like feeling like I was on the way out, but like trying to work my way in. And, and for some reason, I turned to God. Like I didn't expect that, honestly. I went into the house just ready to have a great time and ready to make friends and ready to, to play hard. But I didn't know that it would strengthen my relationship with God. I didn't expect that, um, but it did, it did. And uh, like I said, it's it's been strong since. You went in expecting um, one thing and it sounds like you came out with so much more. So much more, yeah, a hundred percent. Like who cares you didn't win? You yeah. deepened your relationship with our creator. I Absolutely. Mean, sounds like you won. Yeah. I, I do feel like that. I really do. Even, yeah, I could, Julie, we have only a little bit of time, but I could go on and on about how thing like when things happen to you that seem tough in the moment, when you look back, you understand why those things happened. So many of those things happened post big brother and because of big brother and because of my relationship with God. So 
it's all connected and I am a big believer. Let's talk about life since Big Brother. So yes. you came out, how long did it take you to watch all the episodes? I watched right away because uh, I have been obsessed with the show since I was young. So I could not wait to watch all the episodes. I did it right away. I rewatched them then again. Uh, I think, it, you know, the season has its controversies, controversies 100%. But I think some of that gameplay was really good gameplay. And um, I am very proud uh, of the game that I played and to be a part of the season and the show. It's been four years since you played. Yep. Um, when you went in, uh, you were a Broadway performer. Mm -hmm. What? Where's your career now? What are you doing? What have you done since? What do you hope to do? Well, it's so funny. That goes back to how I was saying before, how everything happens for a reason, because I finished Big Brother and then right afterwards, like six, seven months, eight, whatever, months afterwards, COVID hit and the industry was shut down, the Broadway industry especially. Um, and it took a very long time to come back because of COVID. So I'm lucky that because of Big Brother, I was blessed to have people watch me and want to follow me on social media. And I was able to make a living working with brands that that wouldn't have happened if it weren't for Big Brother. And I believe that that happened for me, like for a reason, like when I look back, cause you know, I was, bit, it, sorry, I'm going on a tangent, but okay. Go I was it. almost gonna get the West Side Story movie and I didn't get it, but then I got Big Brother. Had I gotten the West Side Story movie, I was crushed when I didn't get it, I was so upset. But had I not got, had I gotten the West Side Story, Big Brother may have not happened. And if Big Brother didn't happen, I would have been struggling financially during the pandemic and I did not have to worry. And I'm so blessed for that. But again, it goes back to when I didn't get West Side Story, I was crushed. Little did I know God had another plan. Are you at liberty, are you at liberty to say mm -hmm. what um, role it was? Yes. So I was up for the role of Riff who's, um, uh, he's like a big part in the show too. It was amazing. And my good friend, Mike Feist got the role and he was amazing. Like he, you can't take it away from him. He was incredible. We would have been very different, but it just goes back to, you know, how everything truly happens for a reason and God has another plan and you may not see it in the moment, but it is happening for you. Um, so now I'm going to do the show Beauty and the Beast. I'm going to play LeFou at a, a theater in St. Louis, Missouri, a great theater that I'm very excited to work at. So that's where I'm at career-wise today. Congratulations. When Thanks. does the St. Louis production um, go on stage? Begin? It runs the end of June, so shortly. I can't wait. Oh, it's a dream role. I've always wanted to play LeFou. He's just like Gaston's sidekick. He's running around. He's so fun. He gets to sing a song. So it's, it's literally a dream role that I've always wanted to play. And I, yeah, I'm very excited. Who doesn't love LeFou? I know he's the best. He's got the most fun role. I think so at least. Yeah. Born to play him for sure. And St. Louis is a great town. So I don't know if you've spent time there, but. I haven't yet, but I will. I'm going to be living there for about a month. Oh, you're going to have a ball. I love it. I can't wait. I really can't wait. Yeah. So that's what's going on career wise. All right, season 21 of Big Brother, mm -hmm. we saw you and Christy were besties. Who yep. are you still in touch with? I really am in touch with almost everyone. I really have love for every cast member. Um, I'm in touch with a lot of them. I'm close with, I'm closest with, I would say, Christy, she's still one of my best friends. Um, Nick, uh, Holly, Sis, obviously. Sis and I did the challenge together. She's amazing i'm obsessed with her so much um nicole ovi oh my gosh david uh yeah the, i but like i said i have nothing but love for every single one of them and just because i'm i stay in touch with those people the most doesn't mean that i'm not in touch with others like i i really love everyone I, that doesn't shock that doesn't surprise me in the least yeah you Thanks. have a big open heart which is i think why um America fell in love with you, you know, myself included. 
Uh, I felt love from you and I felt it was mutual like right away. As soon as I got out, I was just hugging you. I, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was amazing. What did your family say when you got out of the house? Well, oh, they were so proud of me. They really were. They were, they, they, uh, they were worried for me because they weren't as obsessed with the show as I was. So they didn't know what to expect. And it's a lot of pressure for a family watching the show from the outside, seeing how the public, it, what they think, because there's a lot of good, but there's also some that some tough stuff that comes with it. So I think that's tough for any family member to watch uh, their loved one on the show. But overall, they were so proud. My dad, my cousin, and I started a podcast on reality TV that we still do to this day. Um, so even if they weren't fans before, now they're huge fans. Give it a plug. What's it called? It's called Real Talk, and uh, we talk Real about talk. reality TV. Yep, it's spelled T A W K. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I know. Because you know I'm from Queens, so I know. I you went to it. you went to the same school as my father, actually. Saint, Saint Francis. Saint yep. Francis Prep. Yep. Did he go when it was all boys in Brooklyn, or did he what go in Queens? Queens? He went in Queens. He commuted to Queens um, and he said, you're younger than him. But uh, it was like you just missed each other or something. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah he, he, he likes that story. He tells it often. He's like, me and Julie Chen went, Mumrez went to the same school. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And I'm going to say, what's your dad's name? Phil. I'm going to say, me and Phil Brocco went to the same school. And <laughs> yeah, I love it. Halo also went for one year. No way. Oh, well, now he's going to be super excited, too. Now he's got Julie Chen Mumbez and Jennifer Lopez. What, what more could you want? <laughs> I think I've just been replaced by outing that. Well, you haven't. Got to be honest. It's still you. It's not It's not J-Lo. It's you. <laughs> that is so funny. She only won her freshman year. So, okay. And then, but had she stayed, we would have been in the same graduating class together. Wow. Yeah, but you know, we both had that New York energy right away, which I was I didn't expect that prior to meeting you. I thought we would just bond over Big Brother, but then, you know, right away we we connected on that. So it was nice. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, we have two and a half minutes left. Uh season twenty-five is about to start. Would you ever do it again? Oh my gosh, in a heartbeat. I would love the opportunity to do it again. I love the show. It's the best show in the world. There's not many shows where kids can watch it, but also older people. There's like a wide variety and everyone bonds over Big Brother. Families, people of all ages, like people from all over the country, the world. There's something so fascinating about it. And something that I found out that was funny when I got out, a lot of people in the entertainment industry find it fascinating too, because especially actors, they... It's, it's about studying people and what better way to study people than the Big Brother experiment. So it, it's, it's just something that bonds people from all over the world. And that's something that always spoke to me. Um, and competing, competing. And you, you know what it is? I, I felt it like this. I think the reason why I love the show is because when I watched it, when I first watched it, I knew I was meant to be on it and I knew I would do well. So I think that like I saw myself in it from the very beginning. And then the fact that I got to play was literally a dream come true. Well, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. If Tommy Rocco goes back in the house, I'm not saying he is, expect the unexpected. Who knows? You've already Who said knows? you'd be willing. So on that note, I'm gonna pray us out. Yes. You wanna, you, how about you pray us out? Can you do it in 25 seconds? Yes, I can. God, thank you so much for this opportunity. I hope that this message can speak to at least one person on a deeper level, and then this will mean something even more. And um, thank you very much for the blessings that you give every single day. Amen. Amen. Tommy Rocco, Godspeed, God bless. I adore you. I adore you too. Thank you so much for having me, Julie Chen Move, as you are the best.